It's very difficult, uh, you know, when um, you are faced with a situation like the one we are facing, uh, you can't, uh, you have to, you have, first you have to respect that the game means exactly uh, and predictability and surprise, so, you know, there is also that, that uh, matter. There are uh, so many uh, statistics that you want to avoid and, and, and one of them is actually this one. What is going to solve us the problem uh, is probably uh, setting out to to win uh, like we do, but uh, two or three goals ahead of the opponent to prevent situations from uh, from these ones uh, happening. Uh, I went through a similar situation before, um, and you know it, it goes away through time, through practice, uh, through experience. Uh, you also don't want to um, to uh, to carry this further, and uh, and I think you know all of us recognize that in these last moments a lot of things are happening for us, and we want to shift it around. Uh, so we have uh, we have been incentivizing the players on a positive, recognizing the mistakes that we've been doing also, uh, but uh, trying to invert what is a negative statistics, no doubt. Gareth has went through difficult time in his career, uh, you know, with potential. Uh, career-threatening injuries, and uh, you know sometimes, obviously, the, for the pace that he goes, it looks like there is a, uh, dives when the player is actually protecting himself. I'm sure that, uh, and he told me that that it didn't matter whatever reputation he gains, he just uh, he just doesn't try to do it. He um, he avoids opponents, he avoids tackles. The pace that he you know that he approaches challenges is very very difficult for the ref to to, to judge, and and he recognised that. But uh, you know his um, his attack that if he gains, I think is unfair. But uh, if it does so, it doesn't bother him in any way or form. So uh, we, we keep on our job, keep doing our job.